Alright, so we are back and our opponents are at the bottom bases. Great White and help me ASAP. Sorry for giving you some uh, infamy, I guess. You probably don't want to be known for dying to this stupid strategy. But here we are. Um, there was no... Whoops, let's slow it down. There was no high yield minerals that you can actually land at in this space because of the debris, so he had to do all his mining at home, but that still works out fine. Kind of missed something important there. Nice little move by my partner. So as my Spartan coming in, they are blocking the landing, which is definitely a counter to it. So he brings in all his SCVs, just poke in his abstraction, boom, landed. And now he comes back to return all his cargo and start the repairing process. I just have speedlings actually already, so kind of difficult for my Hellions to get anything done here. Oh boy, that is getting low. 70, 50, 40, 30s. Looks like they got down as low as the 30s. This is definitely a tighter game, but we still have a lot of SCVs alive, although a lot of them are red lines. I guess if they focused the SCVs, they may have had a little bit of success. That is one dead Protoss. And as for the other opponent, yeah, you got caught with your pants down, buddy. Only a matter of time when you're on the way like that. Oh, that was a nice shot. Oh, <laughs> even better. Oh! Goodbye, final drone. And a little side note you actually can kite the uh, queen when you're with Hellions, especially off the creep, it's a lot easier. Darn slow. And GG. Or insult us, but same thing. GG. Now, moving on to the match. I don't know. I think I cut off the last video was I was saying the word next. So, next match. And this is actually going to be against a random team, like two random players playing together, not an actual team. So you think that's probably not as good. However, Camus is number seven in diamond in his division. And Mad Max is number one in diamond in his division. So, uh, probably not the worst players ever. Now, this is 2v2, so, you know, diamond in 2v2, or diamond in any team match, you're not going to see, see the same level of play as you would in solo, which is much more competitive. But this is just a lot more fun. Come on. And my partner, once again, you can float halfway, take high yields, blah, 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 blah. Because orange minerals is a lot better than blue ones. Is that orange? Maybe yellow? Oh, probably gold. That would make a whole lot of sense, right? That's why it's high yield? Okay. This game's starting to make sense to me now. Drone discovers my base, and Drone has a bit of a confusion moment in seeing nothing over here. Oh, but not that confused. He's probably all on top of this. Oh, he went to the high yield now. Well, we'll catch that guy. Did you actually see it? He did see it, so he knows we're here. Although he's going to find out we're not there for long. Uh, harassing the guy making the engineering bay, that's kind of an important ability to keep. Yeah, I think that many SCB should be able to kill him off. And finish up the building. I even be late. Let's see what happens here. Landing. Timing's alright. Oh, it is getting blocked by the uh, probes though. Using the SCVs once again. He gets only two probes blocking. You can totally land that. Nice. Worst case scenario though, all you get to do is hold on until my Hellions arrive, and then the Hellions shouldn't be enough of a distraction. And then if they try to stay under the, under the fortress, I'll probably be able to hold them off. around it again, but yeah, Lings and Probes versus the Ivix Cannon, no, not going to work. Looks like the mule I called down got picked off. And we 
we do have range on the Nexus. Limited lifespan for this guy. Oh, second mule. Speed. Now we got control, I'm gonna see if I can do some sort of harassment on Zerg, and Zerg is... Yeah, throwing down some spine crawlers. <laughs> Looks like he's ready for the Hellions. Um, ooh, there's something there. Yeah, so once we had this well in hand, Zerg was smart enough not to... Not to attempt any crazy rescue attempt, obviously it's not going to work, so he's going for the counterattack. And as with like our Tower Rush in Warcraft 3, obviously the weaknesses is our, is our defense, because we're going such a ridiculously all-in hard offense. I actually tried to pull out my SCVs to fight here and get in the way, but I, I think I clicked on this sub ID depot instead and just let everything die. Yeah, that loading my supply just so I can get a better surround but SVs do not comply. One of the advantages of having a partner and sharing full control all the time, I just said, I need my Hellions back, and he, he quickly took my Hellions and sent them back to my base for me to use. Uh, anytime you play like 2v2 or any team games with people you know, you should really share full control. Even in a random match, if like say one of your partners gets knocked out of the game, give them control and then see if, uh, you know, just tell them things to use. Like here, I'm going to macro my base, you use this Banshee and see which kind of sort of damage you can do with it. Uh, fortunately, I think I just A moved into his base, that wasn't good. Lost a couple uh, Hellions. But I realized soon enough just to get in here and do some work. Posted one drone, oh well, one's better than zero. Once again, kiting the queen off creep. but. Obviously, won't get him killed, and uh, Spine Fowler's getting set up in a more defensive stance. Of course, one thing I really should have been paying attention to when I was in space is hey, recon! Hello! <laughs> Spire! <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. Let alone notice the lair. So, my partner did have an inch base, he could have been throwing down air turrets around here to defend, or at least one air turret here just to keep the fortress and his SCVs alive. But yeah, this is our recon right here. Um, we got a good idea there's Mulus on the field when five of them start killing off our base. So my partner's going to be forced to float and just kind of send these SCVs. And four planetary forts just can't float anymore. Same time, in my base. I already did switch up the barracks just to load up these bunkers. However, it's not going to be a ground force. I don't really need the bunkers per se. Same time, building an engineering base and get some air turrets down. But that's going to be cancelled because I was thinking, you know what? I can just fund my partner some money. And since he's still got an injury bay from his planetary fortress rush, he can start building air turrets for me.